Hey folks, Gregory Cockery here in the Fishman Lair at NAM 2016. And I'm very excited, I got my own signature pickups. I'm almost gonna be intolerable uh, with the sense of personal self that I'll have at the deployment of these pickups. Um, we looked, worked long and hard to make these really, really good. Uh, and as a result, in order to do everything that we needed to do, of course, the goal was as follows. To have pickups that look like regular Telecaster style pickups, that sounded not almost kind of like good tele pickups. We wanted unbelievable sounding pickups, but because of the technology used with the Fishman Fluence pickups, with the way that the coils are made, you can actually have them voiced multiple ways. So there's two voices. And um, so in order to make that all happen, and of course we wanted to have no 60 cycle hum because you know when you're set up next to the popcorn, popcorn machine someplace and you're on the road and there's no escape from that 60 cycle, 60 cycle hum when you have the amp turned up, that's a down bringer and a down taker. So we wanted to have the best no noise Telecaster pickups in the history of Manor Beast. That was our quest, that was our query. And by Jiminy Jangle Jingle, I think they're pretty damn good. So what we have is, it comes with both pickups, it comes with this control plate, and it comes with this input jack. Now when I first started working with uh, the folks from Fishman with these pickups, one of the things they said is that we got this new way of having, um, not having windings per se on a pickup, but having these stacked aerospace circuit boards that we can print the coil on. As a result, the consistency could be the same, we can make them sound any way that you want, but the thing is they have to be active. They actually have to have a preamp on board, which was almost a non-starter for me because I don't want batteries in my guitar, right? But what they figured out what to do is they have a lithium ion battery option and you can charge up the, charge up the battery with your uh, phone charger, a mini USB charger. And for an hour and a half charge, you get 300 hours of playing time, which is ridiculous. I, I've, I've had the Strat and the Les Paul with these pickups in for about three years. I've never come even close to running out of pickup or running out of power. Because you figure, you know, we charge up our cell phones twice a day. I think, have it on your radar that at some point in the next 300 hours, I'm gonna have to plug in these pickups again. You could even do it as, you know, I like to change strings after every couple, three gigs. So, depends how long the gigs are. But usually after two gigs, I gotta change strings. I just plug the guitar in as I'm changing the strings. You're good to go, right? So, anywho, let's get into the sound, which was the most important thing. So we worked long and hard, as I said, to make them sound the way we wanted them to sound. The reason why we put this little button in the middle here is that this is what changes the sounds. When it's up, it's more of kind of like a real open, like early 60s, underwound, very dynamic tone. When I press the button in, it becomes more of something that's a little beefier. It's got a little bit more sassafras um, and a little bit of a punch over the edge. So the reason why we wanted that instead of on the tone control is because I, I wanted these to behave like all good tele pickups do. And one of the things I love doing on a tele are these tone control wahs. You know, certainly you can do volume slurs. But you want to be able to go. All that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Communicate with aliens as you see fit. So that's totally happening, totally works. And this is pretty, you know, it's not something that I think is gonna turn off the more vintage-oriented person because it's so innocuous, you know what I'm saying? And then you, it's a push-push thing, it's totally instinctual to use, so when you have it down like this, I'm on the bridge picking now. I turn down the volume, I don't lose any highs. Turn it up. If I press it in, I get a little bit more. Sounds good. So the bridge pickup, if the telly doesn't have a good bridge pickup, it's, it's a non-starter. So this sounds great. You don't lose any highs and you turn it down. I can crank the amp up. I'm not gonna hear any 60 cycle hum. Uh, the middle position, we had a particular Telecaster that sounded different from a bunch of other ones. To make a long story short, we figured out that that particular guitar had an extra quack because the polarity was reversed from the other guitars. So I said, I don't even know what that means, but I want that sound. So we were able to make that happen. So in the middle position... Turn the 
volume down. Sounds glorious, right? Neck pickup on a Tele's got to be right. It, 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 the thing is with a Telecaster, it's not a Strat with two pickups. They're, it's a totally different beast. So the neck pickup has got a more give to it. It's got more squish when you lean into the note. Turn down the volume. Have it up, hit the button. Sounds killer. Very, very instinctive, ergonomically cool to have that button in there. It's just like, oh, I want a little bit more, press it in. Oh, I want a little bit less, press it in again. The whole spectrum of the, the taper of the volume knob, totally uh, instinctive. There's nothing weird about it. Uh, the attack and the timing of these pickups. Basically, I think that these are the most dynamically conducive pickups that I've ever played in terms of it's all in your hands. Now, maybe some people are not going to like that. Maybe people want this because it masks their foul playing, <laughs> which, hey, there's nothing wrong with it. You got you to do whatever's going to make you sound the best. For me personally, I like to have the widest scope possible of which to really nail it down or play very, very quiet. And these definitely enable me to do that. So I'm very, very proud to have my own signature pickups, Fishman Fluence Gristletone pickups for Telecaster, for Guitar World Magazine, Greg Koch here in the Fishman Lair, Nam 2016. Later, cats.